Hey everybody, it's Kenny C here for Triple Threat Watson Radio right here at Moonlight Comets in Frankfurt. One of the proud sponsors of United Wrestling Federation, Cheap Blood. And I'm joined with the amazing Maria, who will be a part of the Vixen Show this coming Sunday. How's it going, Maria? Doing great, Kenny. How you doing? Doing real good. It's the third time I've interviewed you, and uh, uh, it's great to see you back. And uh, before we get into the Vixen Show, you are like nine, ten months removed from the severe injury. and. Ten months. This is my first month back. Been back in the gym, working every day. Um, it's doing good. Trying to get it all worked out, but gotta get ready for the Vixen Show, dog. Gotta get ready. <laughs> and uh, this, from my understanding, this will be your second or third. third. Oh, it's your third. Okay. It's my third. I should know these things. I've you been there three know. years in a row. That's right. I'm sorry. It's all good. So, I was talking to Haley uh, recently. <laughs> Sorry. And she said that if she were to handpick anyone, she would prefer going up against you. Of course she would. Everyone wants to go up against the amazing one. She's not even on my radar, though. I didn't put her out last week. One, two, three. That's over. Not even a blip on my radar. Okay. <laughs> so, but all, all that aside, if you can handpick anyone... Uh, to go up against one on one. Who would you want to go up against? Think about that real hard, Kenny. Mickey Knuckles is supposed to be on that show. Is that if, why? If her license clears in the state of Kentucky and I could pick who I want, Mickey Knuckles, she tore my knee out. She put me down for 10 months. That is true. Don't think I wouldn't want to rematch with her. I would love to climb in the ring with Mickey Knuckles again. It's about redemption at this point. It's about, That's right. It's about payback, revenge. Revenge and payback. Now, last year you entered the Vixen Show as the queen of the bluegrass. And I hate to bring up old memory. You went up against Jesse Bell and you was not on the winning end. And now, in order to get that crown back, you have to go through the battle royal. Now I'm thinking from a championship side of things, if you lose a championship or in this case a crown, you should at least get a rematch. Get a right? rematch one on one, but you gotta go through this over this battle royal. And, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're supposed to be, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 girls. It doesn't matter to me. They'll all go over the top rope one by one. I can take Jesse Bell over just as easy as I can take Haley Shadows over. It's not important to me. I'm I'm okay with that. I will go through them all. I, there's no doubt in my mind that the queen of the bluegrass is going to come home where it belongs this time. So, for people that want to follow Amazing Maria, you can follow her on Twitter at Amazing underscore Maria. You can also like her on Facebook, also under the name Amazing Maria. Now that you are back healthy, you're back in competition, uh, what are some goals Amazing Maria has for herself? in this year. My goal this year since I've been back is the Vixen's title. Mickey may have it around her waist right now, but after Sunday, on February the 9th at the Vixen show, that belt's going to come home where it belongs. It's going to come home with me. And now, besides that, I've got some MLW in my future. I'm thinking about going back down to Memphis. I'm going to go up to Chicago this year. I've got some things working up there. If you guys want to follow me around, check me out on Instagram. I post pictures every week, different shows, different opponents. It's all good. Kenny just told you where to find me, so hit me up. I feel that you've been one of my favorite female wrestlers throughout oh, the thanks, years, Kenny. and I have the utmost respect for you. I'm a fan of you and the Pretty Boys with Wani and ATM, and Man. I want to ask you your thoughts on Mr. Wani Roberts now being you know, your champion. I mean, you've been on the road with him, and your thoughts. Ronnie Roberts wouldn't have his championship if it wasn't for me and the pretty boys. He can go on and do his little spill and go off on his own, but he's going to see how cold it gets by his lonesome. That's all I got to say about Ronnie Roberts. Okay. <laughs> so, um, for people that may not be familiar with UWF and the Vixen Show, why don't, you, why don't you be a saleswoman real quick? Why don't you convince the people 
Why should they go to this show this coming Sunday? Why would you not want to go to this show this coming Sunday? You've got 15 to 20 girls, some of the greatest girls from around the country going to be on this show. It's an all-women show. You would be crazy not to want to see that. Come on now, you get me. You get Haley Shadows for whatever that's worth. Uh, let's see, who else we got? We've got uh, Lila Lodge, the powerhouse princess, coming down from Seattle, Washington's going to be there. Jesse Bell's going to be there. So for all you little ding, ding, bell ringers out there who love you some Jesse Bell, come on in and see her at the Vixen Show. I'm not going to lie, that was a weather good impression of a southern accent. Such see, I got show. this. I can do some Jesse Bell. Ding, ding, y'all. <laughs> Well, amazing, Maria. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your presence. And uh, good luck this Sunday. And final words. Thank you, Kenny. It's always a pleasure doing your show. Love being a part of Triple Threat Wrestling Radio. If any of you guys want to see me, like I said, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's all amazing, baby. Have a good day. You got any words for Magic? You got any words? Oh. Ah. Magic can go on somewhere. <laughs>